What up, YouTube? Uh, it's Dave Medic One here. I got a uh, got a knife in the mail uh, the other day, and it was kind of something. It was kind of an impulse buy, and uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't know this knife um, existed. Um, it's from one of my favorite knife manufacturers. Um, it's from CRKT, and uh, there you go. And you probably would, you guys would probably never guess what it is, um, but it is a Alicious Horse model, as you can see there. Pretty cool little knife. Um, what kind of made me want to get it was the picture online with the inlay of this bowling ball pattern looked pretty cool and the grind on the blade and, and the details in the blade um, really caught my eye and you know and the price was pretty good so I went ahead and jumped on it and purchased it um, CRKT does make this it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty nice knife as far as EDC goes um, yeah you can EDC it um, the grip on the handle is, is so so uh, the pocket clip right here, I did notice that it does, it will give you, it's, a, it's got a little bit of a hot spot right there. Uh, but all in all, the knife is pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Uh, pretty nice overall. Uh, it is discontinued, but you still can get it. And you can get it for a pretty reasonable price. Um, when they first came out, they were around the 60 to $70 range. You could probably get away for getting it. Uh, for 30 bucks, but there's a, it's a lot of the design features in this that really caught my eye that made me want to uh, Purchase this. Um, let's go ahead and run through some stats real quick on this um, uh, The overall uh, Length of this blade is a little over seven inches uh, The close length is four inches the weight is 4.6 ounces, so it does have a little weight to it uh, But it's it's not so bad. It's probably I'd figure it's about your average EDC weight on that um let me see here. Uh, the blade length itself is a little over 3.1, or it's 3.1 inches. Uh, the thickness is probably, I'd say, about two and a half millimeters, three millimeters. Uh, Aus 8 steel on this, hardened to 5859, which is pretty common. Uh, bead blast finish on the blade there. Um, and the grind on this, they call it an L. Uh, Elishowitz stealth grind, uh, but it's more remin it's it's reminiscent to like a lot of the nightmare grinds that you see out there, which is really cool. Um, one of the cool aspects of this grind is that the the blade surface on in the middle, nice and thin, it lends it for really good cutting. And then towards the tip, because of this grind right here is a little steeper, it adds a lot of girth and thickness to the tip. Um, a lot of strength so as far as uh, penetrating or whatnot this blade will be more durable uh, because the way they did the grind this grind right here is on the high side it drops down maybe about uh, you know about an eighth of an inch maybe a little bit more drops down into this into the secondary grind on the tip uh, which adds that thickness and that girth to it there is a minute swedge up top uh, which really lends itself for for penetrating so I mean as far as the blade design um, they did get very original with this. You don't see it too often, and it definitely adds a, a really nice design aspect to this knife all around. Um, a Tonto style edge, as you can see there. Um, the handle material, uh, glass filled, of course, with this inlay. Uh, it's a liner lock there. As far as pocket clip, it is tipped down only one side, so very limited as far as that goes. Um, let me see here. It does have a lock safety mechanism right there, if you can see. So when the lock or when the knife is engaged, you can click it over and you have no worries about disengaging the liner lock. Uh, whether or not it will be an issue with this knife as far as worrying about locking it, um, I don't think so. But it's always a nice added touch there, a nice added feature. Um, better to have it and not need it than to need it and never have it. So not too bad it's just another little added feature to this knife that makes it you know pretty cool um, it is cool thing about this knife it is assisted so that's another little cool feature that I really liked about it um, all around uh, the Argos and this knife are really it's a, it lends itself to be a three-finger carry your pinky hangs off the back 
So yeah, it is it is grippy and comfortable. You'll hold it into your hand. Um, as far as comfortable, like I said, this pocket clip, uh, I do feel a little hot spot right here at the tip. Um, it, if it was more of a shallow profile, it would be a lot more comfortable and then I wouldn't have an issue uh, with it whatsoever. Um, the style of the pocket clip is not so bad. Um, it, I've seen uglier pocket clips, but not bad. Um, it does uh, the deployment or the instead of having a thumb spot, a thumb stud, excuse me, it has a knob here that's kind of like a step feature, which is just the more you look at this knife, you'll start to notice all the little cool things uh, about that that really adds to it. Um, it's almost borderline like too much stuff, you know, uh, but not bad. Uh, there is a little inlay bronze type feature right here which I believe is like a maker's mark I'm not 100% sure maybe you guys can tune in on that uh, I have kind of limited information on this knife because it is discontinued but all along, all around it is a very nice knife I'm happy to have it um, I'm a big fan of CRKT and uh, yeah it is the Aleshowitz mark there um, so not I'm very happy adding this to my uh, to my collection. So I figured I'd share it with you guys today. Um, as far as size comparison, so you guys get an idea. Um, here's a Spyderco Persistence, and they're dead on same size, just to give you an idea. So as far as um, uh, it, it's a perfect size for an EDC. Although if you're going to do light use or very minimal use or just cutting stuff right there. This pocket clip is not going to give you a handle as far as being a hot spot, but after prolonged use, I could see it being a little on the uncomfortable side, but the Argos on the handle itself are pretty nice. Um, I wish they would have done a better job on the pocket clip, uh, but all around really nice. Holes in the blade, a lot of really nice design features in this, which kind of, um, which like I said, it's, I'm very happy to have it in my, in my uh, collection because of all the cool stuff. It's just a lot of little eye-catching details that make this knife really cool, really original, so... There you go, guys. It's all Leshowitz Horse, CRKT. Not a bad knife. Um, like I said, there's a million other knives you could probably get for the same price range that may be better. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to add something new and interesting to my collection. And I always like to kind of do reviews or first impressions on uh, knives that you don't normally see. Um, that way, if anyone ever had any curiosities about it, at least I got it out there so you guys have a, an opinion on it and you can go ahead and use that to either you know push you one way or another so there you go guys appreciate you guys for tuning in today uh, appreciate the new subscribers um, your comments and all the support you guys rock thank you so much peace